Hey, rookie. You have a passport or no? Uh, yeah. Why? Turns out I have to go back to Japan to finish out one more match of my contract there. WWE thinks a Japanese opponent might try to injure me for leaving, so unfortunately, I have to face one of you guys. But whatever. At least it will be an easy win. So do you want to make the trip or no? Don't know how easy it will be for you, but I'll do it. When do we go? Not so fast. Obviously, this is a huge opportunity, so Hector and Chase won it in two. So you're gonna face them in a triple threat match for the right to lose to me in Japan. Good luck.
Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, I mean you're gonna face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here. So we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs and potentially open more doors. But if you lost, risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? I want to really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait, we almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. And show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. Man, the dream got crazy. But we don't need to get into that. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together, work out together eat together I know we could do a lot of things together all right well good luck in your match I'm gonna go buy a new suit to impress the GMs specifically Mandy Rose if our real-life connection is anything like it was in my dream there's gonna be fireworks when we meet uh, not literally like pyro or anything I mean like the romantic kind yeah I get it chase Good luck with all that.
I've heard a lot about you, and you didn't disappoint with your win over Drew McIntyre today. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. This is a big decision, and I need to think it over. That's fine, but you don't have a lot of time. Weigh your options and get back to me. The fact that you had the courage to not only face an opponent like Drew McIntyre, but then beat him, really proved what kind of competitor you are. That's why I'd like to offer you a SmackDown contract. This is a big decision, and I need more time to weigh my options. I get that, but let me know before I leave today. I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions today, but after what you did against Drew McIntyre, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get, a chance to sign with Raw. This is a big decision, and I need to think it over. Don't play games with me. If you want to sign, let me know. If not, you're a loss. I've heard a lot about you, and you did. It would be an honor. In my opinion, NXT is the top brand in WWE, and I'm only going to help make it stronger. I'm betting on that. And don't forget to take a moment to celebrate this achievement. You've earned it. Thank you, Mr. Regal. I promise you won't be disappointed with your decision. I hope not, but we'll find out soon enough. You're looking at the Blue Brand's newest superstar. Took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE Universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the Paragon. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing in NXT, but without the lame nickname. Whatever. I'd say I'll be watching on NXT, but I'll be too busy dominating SmackDown. But if you ever make it out of the minors, let me know. Hey, I heard you're going to NXT. Looks like I'll have some company. You signed with NXT too? Yeah, I just spoke with Regal. I think it's a great fit for my style and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. We should look out for each other there. That's a good idea. 
especially considering we might have targets on our backs coming in as the new guys. Look forward to competing with you there. Congrats, man. You too. Heard you got signed. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Comparing yourself to us isn't going to help. Your time will come, trust me. You just need to take a hard look in the mirror and see what you can change to capitalize on the next opportunity that comes along. That's good advice. But what if it wasn't anything that I did wrong? What if someone in WWE doesn't want me to succeed? What if I'm being held down? Bro, I think you've been spending too much time on social media. There are no conspiracy theories in play here. All right, but that is exactly what you would say if there was one. Chase, keep your head up and continue to work hard. <laughs> I gotta go clean up my locker. That's not code, is it? Like you're not trying to tell me there's a conspiracy theory against me? That I'm being locked down? Wink twice if I'm onto something. Chase? Congrats on getting signed to NXT. I think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. And there you see the newest addition to NXT's roster making their way into the arena. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Well, nobody asked you, but I have to agree. This guy is the definition of superstar.